family fortune. And tonight's families are the Berry family. And they're playing the Buzzard family. And now, here's your host, Les Dennis. And welcome to the show where two families battle for the chance of winning £5,000 and the choice of star prize. Either this top of the range family car, this saloon car with colour coded bumpers and mirrors has everything you could possibly want in a top of the range high performance car. And in this model, it's all part of the package. Or a fabulous family holiday for up to 12 people. This week's South African Airways holiday is to the famous Sun City Resort, an ancient city full of life by day and night. A city surrounded by acres of untamed Africa. A chance to bend fantasy with luxury. Great prizes, let's meet the families. And our first family that we meet tonight are the Buzzard family. Hi, Colin. Hi, Les. How are you? I'm fine, Les. Colin Buzzard? Yes, Colin Unusual Buzzard. name? Very strange. Very strange. <laughs> All right, introduce us to the family. Tell us where you're from. Uh, we're the Buzzards from Bradford. From Bradford? Yeah. In Yorkshire? And first, my wife, Pamela. Hi, Pam. Hi, Les. Second is my brother-in-law, Peter. Hiya, Les. Hiya, Peter. Hiya. <laughs> He's a lively one. <laughs> <He's laughs> very lively. Next is my sister, Elena. Hi, Elena. Hi, Les. And finally, my cousin, Phil. Hi, Phil. Hi, Les. So you've moved now. You don't live in Bradford anymore, do you? No, we've just moved down to Cheshire. All right. where Pam, Pam originally comes from. So you call the Buzzards? The Buzzards. <laughs> <laughs> you've got bush, have you? Yeah, I've had to change the accent. You've got to change the accent as well. You've got to go to Cheshire, I think. Very much, very much. Yes. It's near Posh and Beck. Posh and Beck, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what happened when you went to Corfu, Colin? <gasps> Yes, when I was in Corfu, I had a, um, a slight accident and I ripped my groin muscle open, uh, which is very, very painful. <laughs> oh, but it is, mate. Yeah, I've never done it, but I can imagine. I spent three, uh, three days in bed at 140 degrees. So then, eventually, yes, I'm going home. Took me in a wheelchair, took me out to the airport. And when you go, go in a wheelchair, the first time, they take you out first to the aircraft. And these two attendants are scratching their head out to get me up the steps. So they go to the top steps, open the door. And while they're doing this, another aircraft. Taxis out in front of me, all of a sudden puts its full thrusters on. Where am I? I'm down the runway. <laughs> no, you're down the runway. That's all pain. <laughs> so a buzzard nearly took flight. <laughs> nearly. <laughs> all right, that's the buzzards. Let's go over and meet the berries. Hi, Sarah. Hello. Where have you brought the berries from? We're from Reading. Reading, OK. Introduce us to the family. This is my husband, Peter. Hi, Peter. Hi, Les. My mum, Carol. Hi, Carol. Hello, Les. Hello, Carol. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> my sister, Siobhan. Hi, Siobhan. Hi, Les. And my brother, Dom. Hi, Dom. Hi, Les. And you're an argumentative family? Well, yes, we can be a little bit, but soon forgotten as soon make up. Okay, what do you argue over? <laughs> family Sunday lunches, it is usually. We're forced to play um, Trivial Pursuit. You're forced to play? Yes, we've, well, mum and dad enjoy it, but the kids are forced to play. You don't want to join play. in? No, not really. So you have trivial disputes? <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you hate it? We don't hate it, no. I mean, it is a bit of a laugh, but uh, no. But you have a row over yeah, it. And a Sarah and Peter, you met at school? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, childhood sweethearts, look at that. Oh. All right, that's the families. We hope that you're ready to play at home as we play Family Fortunes. Hey, Sarah. Come on, Miss Colin. Hi, Sarah. All right, top six answers in this first game. We asked 100 people to name another word for a storm. Sarah. Tempest. <laughs> tempest, that's a good word. We're looking for a tempest. Yes, it's there. How often do you see that on the weather forecast? Is it Magascal? Oh, yes, there's a tempest in the way. What do you think, Colin? A typhoon. We're going for them, aren't we? Let's have a look for a typhoon. Yes, but Tempest is just about a perfect thing to go for. Yeah. Play. All right, OK, that means that you, the buzzards, have to think of some answers. Get into a conflab and think of some answers in case you get a chance to steal. Peter, you're a big Elvis fan. I am, as yes. Tell me about it. Uh, well, occasionally I like to dress up as Elvis. I've had a white phoenix suit made. Uh, Oh, really? Well, yeah. Um, and on occasion, when I've got the feeling, I often dress up in my white suit and drive around Reading buying petrol, going into off licences. Yeah? Um, yeah, it's good fun. Elvis uh, has been sighted in Reading he has. buying petrol. Yeah. Do you do the impression, Peter? Not really, Liz, but uh, I do my best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Peter, from one came to another. We're looking for a word for a storm. I think I'll go with hurricane. <laughs> a hurricane. Yes, it's a tough answer. Well played, Peter. You are the king. You are the king. You have a prize as well. Peter, for Peter. Get your life into ship shape with this super new electronic personal organiser. All right, mate. Thanks for that. Excellent. Carol, you're into the net. I am, Les. Yeah. I am. I work for an internet company. Great. I used to think surfing the net was washing the curtains. <laughs> Carol, what do you think? Um, tornado. OK, we're going for them, aren't we? We've got, we're looking for a tornado. Yes, well played. <laughs> Ten people agreed with you. 
And you've got all lives intact, and there are only two answers to find. Siobhan, how are you? I'm very well, thanks, Liz. You work in television? I do, yes. I'm what do you do? I'm a production assistant right. on the Kilroy programme on BBC oh, right. One. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, at the moment, I'm saving up some money to go to Thailand at the end of the month. So you're leaving? I am leaving, yeah, but I've been working there for quite a while. Have you? Yeah, so I've worked there for about two and a half series now. Enjoyed it? Yeah, I really enjoyed in it. In the words of Kilroy, Siobhan, why are you going? Why are you going? Why are you leaving? <laughs> hey, why are you leaving? Because I'm going off to pastures new. Are you going to cry? Are you going to cry? Siobhan? <laughs> no, I refuse Carol, to cry. Carol, do you think she'll cry? <laughs> she'll cry. She'll cry. <laughs> Somebody over here. Somebody over here. <laughs> what do you think, Siobhan? I think thunder. Thunder! No, so we lose a life on it. Hiya, Dom. Hi, Les. You play lead guitar in a band. Well, it's not really a big band. We're still trying to sort it out. It's just me and some mates from school. They, um, they're lead guitarists. That's how they start, mate. Actually. That's how bands start. Well, yeah, well, no, we haven't done any gigs or anything yet, but I've been playing guitar for, like, you know, four or five years now, so yeah. I know my stuff. Yeah. OK, Dom, what do you think? I would say Cyclone. OK, we're looking for a Cyclone. <laughs> Two lives have gone. The buzzards might get a chance to steal. Sarah? A monsoon. All right, Sarah's looking for a monsoon. So now, a chance for the buzzards. If you can find one of these two missing answers, you have the money in the bank. Phil? Blizzard. Blizzard. Snowstorm. 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 Peter? Sandstorm. Sandstorm. Pam? Whirlwind. Whirlwind. Colin? And blizzard. Sorry? So, blizzard. So the buzzard's blizzard. Definitely. <laughs> We're looking for a buzzard blizzard. Yes! You sounded so depressed when you said it. We're going for blizzard. <laughs> really going for it. It was there. The missing answer, number two, on another word for a storm is... A gale. Here is a gale warning. Get your husband's on his way home. OK, let's play on round two. <laughs> Top six answers in this second game. We asked 100 people to name something you wouldn't do naked. Peter. Swim. <laughs> You've never swum naked then, Peter? I have, yeah, but... But you wouldn't do it again? I wouldn't do it again, no. Was there an incident we should know about, Peter? Um, no, it was cold and a bit rocky on... <laughs> OK. <laughs> I'm seeing nothing. <laughs> swim! No, it isn't there. So, Pam, what do you think? Um, go shopping. Go shopping. <laughs> go shopping. <laughs> shopping. <laughs> yes, it's there. It's also what you're going to get the car yeah. yeah. your family, no comparing. And, of course, the pet berries think of some answers. Hiya, Peter. Hiya, Les. You like pigeons. You're a pigeon fancier. I'm a pigeon fancier. Yeah. How many have you got, mate? I've only about 35 now. Yeah? Um, I did have one good one, which I lost. You, you want to put an appeal out, don't you, for... I do, yes. For your pigeon <laughs> for that my, you've lost. For my blackie. Your blackie? For yeah, my blackie. What colour is he? He's black with white rings. <laughs> black with white right rings. rings. Yeah. White and you rings. Put, so on Crime Watch, on Pigeon Crime Watch, we wanna <laughs> we wanna look out for Blackie. And Blackie, if you're watching, <laughs> will you understand that? He'll understand that perfectly. Blackie, don't have nightmares. We've got a picture of him, haven't we? We have. Yes. We have got. A <laughs> he's not black. He's greeny. No, he's Blackie. He's Blackie. Yeah. Just a little green a sheen to him. That's right. Yeah. Okay. All right, Peter. But you want him back? I want him was back. Was he fantastic? He got me six first, uh, three from France, um, which one was a 500 mile race. Yeah. Um, and I want him now for stock to breed with. Absolutely. Get home, Blackie. What do you think? Something you wouldn't do naked? Um, go to the pictures. Go to the pictures. <laughs> so we lose a life on it. Elena, how are you? All right, thank you. What happened when you were having a baby? Well, when I was having the baby, Peter had his wisdom teeth to count the day before. Yeah. And I got rushed in the next day in labour. And I'm there giving full pelt to having a baby. And Peter decides he needs gas and air because he's in agony. <laughs> so he so won and got the gas and air. He got the gas and air. <laughs> and I had a beautiful daughter. Yeah? Did, you, did he take Blackie in there and give Blackie a bit of gas and air? <laughs> Elena, what do you think? Cook. Yeah. <laughs> well, you wouldn't fry a sausage, would you? We're looking for, <laughs> We're looking for cook. <laughs> yes, it's answer number three. Well played. 13 people said it, and we have a prize for you as well. Peter! You've won a top-of-the-range virtual reality games console. Yeah. Yeah. That, right? Yeah. You your, daughter your daughter will be happy. She will, yeah. All right, Phil, what do you think? Something you wouldn't do naked? Uh, ride a motorbike. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't. You wouldn't, know. <laughs> no. I, I agree with you. Let's see if our 100 people agree with you. Ride a motorbike! <laughs> Two lives have gone, so the berries might steal. Colin? We'll go with football. Go <laughs> with, all right, we're looking for playing football. So, three lives have gone, the berries get a chance to steal. Dom? Uh, fight. Fight. Javon? Go to work. Go to work. Carol? <laughs> Go skiing. Go skiing. Peter? M mow the grass. Mow the grass. Sarah? Have a barbecue. What? <laughs> Which is cook, isn't it? Well, yeah. Yeah, or anyway, eat it. It can be a bit more dangerous. It could be yeah, more dangerous. Drained. All right, what are you going to go with? I think we'll go with go to work. We're looking for go to work to steal. <laughs> Jump the fence, especially if it's electric. <laughs> Number five is iron. Oh, I do. We all have something that's maybe a bit too wrinkled and we might need to iron. Number four, 
is DIY. <laughs> and the top answer on something you wouldn't do naked is... Go for a walk, which is streaking in slow motion. Let's play on round three. <laughs> Come on, me, Peter. Hi, Peter. You haven't seen Blackie, have you? Blackie? A pigeon. Not lately. You weren't listening, <laughs> were you? All right. Top six answers. 100 people surveyed. We asked 100 people to name something you do more than once a week. Carol. Go to work. Go to work. It is there, but there's a top one. Peter. Make love. Make love. You stud you. <laughs> I'm only here once in life. <laughs> Peter thinks make love. It's there, but go to work. It's more popular. Carol, what are you going to do? Play. You need to play because you need some money on your board. Siobhan, what do you think? Shop. OK, shop more than once a week. Yes, it turns on before. I think said it. Dom. I can't say have a wash. Have a wash, Dom? Yeah. I should think everybody would be really pleased if you did yeah. have a wash more than once a week. Have a wash. Yes, yeah, Cheryl, back. We're doing better with this round than the last one. Two answers to find, all lives intact. Sarah. Brush your teeth. OK, Sarah wants to see brush your teeth. So we lose a life on that. Peter. Cook. Cook. All right, Peter, cook. <coughs> no, two lives have gone already, so the buzzards might steal. Carol. Go to the gym. All right, Carol, let's have a look for... To save the life, go to the gym. <coughs> so, the buzzards, can you find one of these two missing answers? Phil. Uh, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Hoover. Hoover. Cook. Cook, we look for cook. Pam. Polish. Polish. Colin. Drive your car. Drive your, your car. car, Colin. Which one are you going to go with? We're going to go with drive your car. We're looking for drive to steal. <coughs> no, so... Number six. <laughs> Go to the loo. And answer number five on something you do more than once a week is... You sleep, which is something you said but you didn't go for. So, at the halfway stage, the buzzards have £108 and the berries have £84. Right, in a couple of minutes, one of our families will be playing for £5,000 and the car or the holiday. We'll see you then. Double money. <laughs> Siobhan, meet Elena. Hi. Elena. Elena. Right, Elena. OK, I've got it right, eventually. Top five answers in this first double money game. It means just that. All the answers revealed are worth twice the price they were before the break. We asked 100 people to name a character who's owned a shop in Coronation Street. Siobhan. Rita Fairclough. Rita Fairclough, or as she's now known, Rita Sullivan. Yes, it's a top answer. Well played. What do you want to do? Play or pass? Okay, we join no conferring. Dom. Reg Holdsworth. Yeah. Reg Holdsworth, yeah, he had the corner shop for a while, didn't he? Reg Holdsworth. Eh? Is he there? Oh, sorry. Hey, Sarah. Um, Roy. Is it Roy Cropper? All right, we're looking for Roy Cropper. <coughs> no. It's a cafe rather than uh, a shop, isn't it? Peter. It's Deb, I think his name is. Okay, his we're looking for Deb. <coughs> Two lives have gone, so we've got to go carefully, Carol. Well, it's going back a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Flory Lindley. You, you can go back a bit. I remember Fro Flory Lindley. <laughs> You're giving your age away there. We're looking for Flory Lindley. <laughs> well played. <laughs> Carol, well saved. That's lucky. You get a prize as well, Peter. You've just won yourself a short break in Stratford upon Avon oh. with a visit to the Royal Shakespeare oh. Company. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you love theatre, don't you? <laughs> yeah? Thank Enjoy you. it. OK, Siobhan. Oh. <laughs> uh, Mavis. <laughs> We're going to go for Mavis. <coughs> Three lives have gone, so the buzzards a chance to steal. Phil. Uh, Mike Baldwin. Mike Baldwin. Audrey Hello. Roberts. Audrey Roberts. Fiona the hairdresser. Fiona the hairdresser. Uh, um, Curly. 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 Alf Roberts. Alf Roberts. And, we'll, and we're going with Alf Roberts. All right, for the money, we're looking for Alf Roberts. <laughs> yes, well played. <laughs> for the money in the bank. The missing answer number three on a character who's owned a shop in Coronation Street is... Fred Elliot. I say, I say, Fred Elliot. I say, I say, Ashley. Fred Elliot. Sorry, Uncle Fred. <laughs> Let's go on and play round two. <laughs> Dom, meet Phil. Hi, okay. Dom. Top four answers. We asked 100 people to name something people spread on toast. Phil. Jam. Jam. He is there, but there's a top one, Dom. Butter. Is butter the top answer? <laughs> it is. Well played. What are you going to do? Play a pass? Yeah. Yeah. Play. Yeah. Rejoin, no conferring. We come to you, Sarah. What do you think? Honey. OK, let's have a look for honey. <coughs> no, so we lose a life on it. Peter? Marmite. OK, are you a Marmite fan? Not really. No? I am. You are? Yeah. OK. That's one of the rows in your house, then. <laughs> Marmite! 
Well played. No rally now, could you save that life? Carol. Pate. Oh, Carol, I say. How posh. We're looking for pate. <laughs> Two lives have gone, so the buzzards might steal Siobhan. Peanut butter. Okay, Siobhan, we're looking for peanut butter to win the money. Yes, well played. <laughs> 282 to you, 252 to the buzzards as we play on round three. <laughs> Top three answers. We asked 100 people to name one of Superman's powers. Colin. Fly. Flying. He can fly. Is the top answer. What are you going to do? Play. 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 Rejoin, no conferring. Really crucial that you don't confer, because this will mean big money. Pam. Um, X-ray vision. OK, Pam, he's got X-ray vision. Yes, well played. Uh, is it quick tonight? Kryptonite. Power. We're looking for kryptonite. <laughs> no, so we lose a life, Elena. Um, it changes right fast into his uh, <laughs> outfit. OK. I love that. I like that's lovely. <laughs> he changes right fast. <laughs> Two lives have gone. Phil. Strength. Yeah. His strength. strength. OK, his strength. If that is there, then you're playing big money. We're looking for strength for big money. Yeah! yeah! That was a close competition, really was close. No answers to reveal. You're going back to Berkshire with a personal organiser, a short break, and a £282. Have you enjoyed the day? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Ferries, they were great. <laughs> so, Colin, South African Airways holiday or the car? We're on the South African holiday, let's OK, who's going to play? Myself and Phil. Col and Phil, join me at the mic. Well done, put the headset on, we'll call you back when we're ready for you. Colin, I'm going to ask you five questions. You have 15 seconds to answer, and the time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. 200 points, we'll get you the £5,000, and if you can find the top five answers, you have the holiday as well, OK? Yes. Good luck. 15 seconds on the clock, please. <laughs> Name something you might see on a lake. A boat. A yellow fruit. A banana. A room that usually has a tap in it. Uh, toilet. Part of the body most frequently kissed. The lips. Something with wings. A bird. Well played, well answered, Colin. Very cool. That's a pretty arm, Mammy Col. Something you might see on a lake, you said. A boat, our survey said. <laughs> Top answer, 40. A yellow fruit, you said. Banana, our survey said. <laughs> 38. Well done. Top marks, a room that usually has a tap in it, you said. The toilet, our survey said. <laughs> toilet or bathroom? You can do this on your own, mate. Part of the body most frequently kissed. You said. Lips, our survey said. <laughs> we might not need him. Not. Something with wings. You said. Bird, Blackie, or whoever. You said bird, our survey said. <laughs> yeah! 189. Well played. Five top answers. Please join your family. We'll clear the board and bring Phil back. <laughs> Welcome back, Phil. Yeah. Great news. Colin has got 189 oh. and uh, five top answers. Oh, man. Got... He's got five. Right, 20 seconds. If you duplicate any of the answers, you'll hear this sound, and I'll ask you for another. Can we remind the viewers at home of the answers we've had? I'm going to have 20 seconds on the clock, please. Good luck. Thank you. Name something you might see on a lake. A boat. Something else. A swan. A yellow fruit. A banana. Another. A lemon. A room that usually has a tap in it. A bathroom. Another. A kitchen. Part of the body most frequently kissed. The, 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 the lips. Something else. The cheek. Something with wings. A bird. Something else. A pigeon. Blackie. <laughs> You knew you'd done it, I think. <laughs> I'll be that. <laughs> I hope he didn't go to the last answer. <laughs> it was quick, because you get exactly the same answers, and then you found another one. So after that. Is that, is that double then, like, You no. never know. Let's see. <laughs> Something you might see on a lake. You 